Okay, so this video here speaks to uh, Dupa Villa's relationship to the Arizona Mexican Mafia, mines in particular. My my relationship to it in particular, uh, and the politics surrounding uh, myself going into it. Um. Now, mind you. I mean, there's, 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 there's politics at play in the Mexican mafia that are lingering from slow stepping down, right? There's still, there's still this, this, RJ still bitter that he didn't get the top. There's still some people, you know, on RJ's side that are bitter that he didn't get the, he didn't get the top spot. You know what I mean? And, um. And then, you know, a lot of people felt like uh, Slack didn't, didn't, you know, didn't deserve it or whatever. There was, there was conflict about it, you know what I mean? So there had to be, you know, uh, agreements made amongst them there as far as who's who and what's what. Now, there is intercepts on all of that, um, but I won't get into that here and now. Um, I've read the intercepts on the crow had all the intercepts on all that shit. Um, the letters and shit. Um, cause he's in on the discussions, you know what I mean? Um, now from, from that point on, um, he's, he's going after RJ. There's this personal conflict between him and RJ that it's really hood. A lot of people don't understand that when it comes to members from Dupa Villa, it's, it goes back to the hood. It goes back to a lot of the stories that have already been told. And, well, you know, a lot of the stories that haven't been told. Let me correct that. You know, there's a lot of conflicts within the hood that a lot of people are unaware of. You know what I'm saying? Um, that, that predate that. But once you get into that position... You know, once once we get there and get into those politics, then it's a whole different beast, like I've said before. You know what I mean? Um, and you can see historically how there, you know, Dupa Villa's always been at. There's always been somebody from Dupa Villa tied into all, all of these, all this shit at, at each stage. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, so... You know, because the same happened in 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 seventies eight when when whenever it was David stepped down, and you know the agreement had to be made with him, the terms had to be made with him as far as you know giving giving the reins over to Slow. But a lot of people don't understand that. Like David was, they had the answer to him. Um. And. You know, part of it was, you know, see, because David never wanted us involved in it. And I'm going to keep bringing that point up is that David never wanted no one from the Bavilla involved in it. And that was RJ's thing because he used the hood to gain the power and influence that he had all along. It came from the fact that there were so many of us who were shooters and killers and shit that he could call on that. You know what I mean? That indirectly he could have shit done as he as he had did. You know what I mean? Um. RJ hands down had the greatest influence in the Mexican mafia because for many, many, many years, you know, for at least two decades, he had, he had those reins from where he sat, you know what I mean? Um, and that doesn't change until I come into play and then the whole, you know, Terry Stewart fiasco, the whole SDG policy and everything that got him sent out of state, you know, it had its effects. Um, so, when I come into play, when, when I turn 18, um, and I hit SMU, um, yeah, I meet David in, 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 in CDU in, 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 in February of 93. I think he's there from February to March, and then he goes to Central Unit, I believe. Me and Lil Ricky are there until like I believe April, and then we both end up in SMU. In SMU, he gets there. He gets there. We get there the same week actually, but he go, he goes the bus before me. 
or it could have been the following, but he goes to bust there before me. Um, and they put him there with his dad and, and, and I end up in double bunk and, and three dog. Um, so when I, at this point, I'm 18 and anybody who's from the hood and who's around knows the influence that I had in the hood at that time, right? Like everybody knows that. I had a lot of people um, at my disposal, so to speak, you know what I mean? A lot of people that I can just get a message to and get shit done. Um, and that was wide ranging as far as criminal activity. Um, I won't I won't speak too much to I won't speak on that at all actually. Um that's hood shit, you know what I mean? And um those that that I did call upon at that time I'd rather just they just never be identified, you know what I mean? But there's a there's the obvious culprits because, you know, little Gumby took care of me the whole time, you know what I mean? Little Gumby was there the whole time. You know what I mean? That's my little brother and shit. But um there was others that um, I could call call upon. Um, so, little Ricky, little Ricky, they move him from there because he's he got the board and they want to release him. So they put him they put him in double bunk with me and gets paroled. And I remember we correspond back and forth, and it was all good. You know what I mean? Um, um, he was, you know, he, he had gotten patched up and me, myself, I was like, I still had the hood. Like I said, like I, I didn't, I wasn't so much impressed like that. Like, I mean, yeah, I was because I'm there. I'm on the stage now. You know what I mean? You got to understand something. I'm walking the line now and I'm a little dude. I'm a, I, at the time, shit, I was probably still like five, three, five, four. You know what I mean? Like one thirty. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was little and 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 um scrappy, scrappy. And so, you know, there is that that aura of where you're at, you know what I mean? Because if you've ever been there, you know, and if you're if you're if 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 you know if you're a thug, you're a chief, you know, whatever, and you go to prison, you 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 ever pull up the century, you ever get off that bus that century unit. Um, or 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 any of the the super maxes, you know what I mean? Um, it's a it's a it's a quite the experience, you know what I mean? And to walk into and to hear the whole oh man, like. <laughs> but yeah, there's that overwhelming sense. Like I said, if you've ever been there, but at the same time, I'm 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 in a blind rage at that point. Like I'm I hate life. Like I hate I hate me. I hate you. I hate. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, bitter, man, about the way I got done. and You know what I mean? So, um, Ricky goes home. Ricky goes home. And um, they move, they move Louis Lacon in there. And I remember me and Louis Lacon, you know, that's when I, I, I made him a tape. I made him a talk tape and and I I I I, I ran everything down to him. Um that's the first person I ever um had told the story to about what happened with Fantastic Force. Because at that at that point I realized that this is this is outside of my control. Like this whole shit. Like homies that are my age don't even know. These homies that are just that are getting put on after I get after I get arrested, the fallout from that when a, you know a bunch of us got taken out the streets and you know they clicked up with different different gangs and all this other shit that was going on. Um, anyway. <sighs> I end up, I end up, I end up hitting a cop with a, uh, threw a mop bucket at him, hit him with a mop ringer. I threw the mop ringer here with that, threw the mop bucket at him, down with the water, um, and SMU, and they moved me. 
They moved me to VCU. They fucking... Dude, man, that shit was crazy. They were literally spitting all my food in front of me on the trap. And, like, you want it? And I'm in there with nothing, bro. I had my boxers with nothing. I just had my no mattress, no nothing. And it's, it was cold in there. And I had, if you've ever been to prison, there's a shit slinger named Junior Aguilar. And here, man, that motherfucker is cold with the shit throwing. But what Junior Aguilar is known for is he'll bang literally for fucking two, three shifts straight. That motherfucker's been known to bang for over 24 hours nonstop on our door. Boom, 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 boom. He used to drive diehard and them crazy when they used to be cold talking and shit. Trying to get the, trying to get the cold talk on, get messages out of VCU. Cause we was restrained in that motherfucker in a major way in them Hannibal Lecter cells down that plexiglass, you know what I mean? But anyway, I get moved from there. I get out of there and um, they moved me to four, I can't remember. Uh, no, to, I can't remember, Baker or whatever. And, um, Abel Baker, dog, one of those back pods. And, uh, or front, Abel Baker, yeah, because VCU's in the front. Anyway, so, they end up moving, Buddy's next to me, Buddy Garcia's next to me. Um, And, I, and I'll tell a story about Buddy Garcia and him getting in trouble and whatnot. Because um, it all, it's this is all happening around us all at the same time. So all shit's going on. Because he, he was in hot water over that gremlin, over that gremlin killed in um, um, Central Uni. So they moved Chino Miranda in there. And, 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 and so... There's an exchange of words, you know, just a brief, we'll handle this, you know what I mean? And, you know, it's a bunch of scraping because they moved Chino, they locked him down, they brought him from Winslow. And um, so next thing you know, buddies whisper to the cop at the door and shit, you know what I mean? And fucking, um, next thing you know, they roll him out of there and they moved Chihuahua and then another shit slinky motherfucker, man. And, I ended up shooting him with a dart in the neck, and it was just a fiasco with him. That's a whole other story. But, um, so at that point, like, they were they were trying to recruit me too. You know what I mean? Like, cause at I was I was at first I was cool with with Mosca and Chino and Rocha and you know I can't remember what a few others I've crossed paths with because. Um, before then, well, actually, um, yeah, from there, cause I, when, when that shit happened with Chihuahua, I ended up getting put back in VCU cause they found a, uh, they found some steel in there from the vent that I had sharpened. Um, but they didn't... <laughs> They didn't do nothing about that. I had a toothbrush in my toothbrush holder. Because back then we had the, the regular toothbrushes. And we had pencil sharpeners, all that. Razors, everything in there. We had, man, we have everything in SMU. Um, and so I had it, I had the end of my toothbrush just sharpened down. I used to pick my teeth with it. You know what I mean? Um. And and I had been seen by other cops, even the cops that said that, like, witness statements that they had seen it. They didn't, it wasn't a weapon. They didn't think it was a weapon. Anyway, so I ended up back in VCU. It was just personal shit. Because um, I had a couple of staff assaults. That was the second one. And, um, and then, so from there, they moved me to four able pod two. And across from me is Crow. He's in pile one. Him and him and Gabezon are in pile one. Now this is now I grew up with his niece Yolanda. And you know, he's from the hood. You know, I remember he worked at Paul West and you know what I mean? Um 
He's been a Tecato since he was a kid. Um, matter of fact, his niece Yolanda's birthday is the same day as mine. She's a year younger than me. And um, so we hit it off, you know what I mean, right away. Because, like, my first, uh, my first, my first uh, uh, trip out to the reg pen, you know what I mean? He's out there. He's he got wrecked with me, so we sit out there. We're down at the floor talking and shit. The drain, and um, and um, you know that's where we get to know each other. You know what I mean? And um, that's when he starts giving me all of the everything, answering all the questions and telling me everything, and you know. Especially about his 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 move to to create his uh, his own patch, a different patch. I say his own patch, but yeah, it's his own patch because he wanted to create a new patch for the internal security, and he was trying to restructure things. Um, but I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna leave the story there for now, and I'll pick back up with it later. Peace, the man.